an overview on a problem that, uh, well, not a problem, an issue that uh, is typical of uh, first order, uh, first order logic, uh, but uh, first order fuzzy logic. That is the um, generalization of classical first order logic to logic that has more than two uh, true value, that is more than false and true. <coughs> So first of all, uh, I want to more or less explain in an informal way which is the problem. Uh, as you know, in first order political logic, we have uh, quantification. Uh, quantification, the aim of uh, quantification, uh, we have existential quantification and universal quantification. The aim of uh, quantified formulas is to express that um, in some structure, in the structure that verify, satisfy the formulas, there is some uh, element in the domain of, uh, of the structure that uh, satisfies this instance of the, uh, of the formula, or that, in the case of uh, universal quantification, that all the uh, domain elements are instances of, uh, of the formula. Uh, this is uh, naturally a valid notion in, in the sense that uh, it has a yes no answer in the sense that if there is an instance uh, for the existence for example if there is an instance the answer is yes if there is no the instance the answer uh, is no but uh, in fuzzy logic the aim is to give um, a value to all the formulas that uh, is not um, simply uh, yes, not, true, false, uh, zero, or one. Uh, but the, the idea is to generalize the, this situation to more truth values, in particular truth values that uh, stay between the uh, complete uh, truth and the complete uh, falsity. For example, uh, since we can give, we can assign uh, values like 0 0.5, 0 0.99 to formulas in general, uh, they are assigned, assigned uh, values in the real unit interval between 0 and 1. Uh, since we can uh, assign to, for example, to all the instances of a given formula uh, value 0 0.99, which uh, kind of uh, value should have a universally quantified for if we uh, um, consider the uh, universal quantification of, of this formula because no one is uh, no one of, of, of the value is one so it should be zero in the sense that uh, according to this kind of uh, definition since strictly speaking no element of the domain is an instance of the formula with value one in total uh, truth the value of the universal quantification of this formula should be uh, zero, even though every instance is almost one. So uh, we need a, a different treating, different uh, uh, way to treat the quantification. So usually, since the beginning in first order fuzzy logic, the uh, idea has been to uh, assign the supremum for the existence of quantification and the infimum for the universal quantification. Uh, note that uh, if we uh, restrict the values of formulas to 0 and 1, indeed the supremum um, uh, and the infimum uh, coincide with the, idea, with the classical idea of uh, uh, exist of the existence of an instance or, or the non-existence of uh, the contrary of, of, of the contrary. Indeed, the, when the supremum, when the value is zero and one, the supremum will be one if and only if there is an instance, the, the formula uh, as an instance, and the infimum will be uh, one if and only if all the instance, all, all the um, domain element are instance of the formula. So. The restriction of this uh, kind of this semantics to the uh, B valued situation indeed gives exactly the classical uh, the classical treatment of uh, of quantification. Indeed, uh, in classical logic, this true uh, definition, the 
existential one and the supremum basic one is uh, is uh, is the same, is equivalent. Uh, but in fancy logic, in this way, in fancy logic, we can give, for example, a, a, a value to the universal quantification of the previous example. In this sense, the mean of all the instances will be 0.99 because all the instances were 0.99. So this formula can have a, a multi-value uh, value. But there is a problem. In uh, uh, when the set of truth value is infinite. The uh, infimum, well, this is not a problem, the, the infimum and the supremum need not to uh, coincide with, with any one of the instances. In classical logic, <coughs> in, in classical logic uh, clearly, if the supremum is one, there is one instance that is one. And uh, if the uh, infimum is one, Clearly, all are one, so all are instance, instances. In uh, when we have an infinite set of truth value, this does not need to be uh, the case. Uh, take for example, consider a formula, uh, an existentially quantified formula with just a, a predicate and a structure such that the domain of the structure is the uh, set of natural number, uh, but uh, zero. And the interpretation of the of the predicate p in uh, in this domain is a, um, increasing strictly increasing sequence of a number between zero and one such that the uh, maximum the supremum not the maximum in this case the supremum is uh, one half. But as we see from the uh, interpretation, no one of the instances has value, uh, has value of one, uh, one half. In this case, as you said, the, uh, the, value, the supremum of the values is one half, but <coughs> no instance will have uh, value of one half. This means, uh, as, we, uh, as we say, that this uh, formula, this quantified formula, uh, formula is not a uh, witness in this structure, has no witness. In the sense that even though, even though it has a value, because it is a safe uh, structure, this is another problem in physiology, uh, no one of the instance, of the instantiation of the formula without the quantification has the same value as the uh, quantified uh, formula. Uh, so um, in the last in the last years, since I would say since uh, more or less 2005, there have been researches on um, in which cases we can uh, have uh, the situation of having uh, witnessed uh, witnessed models. Uh, I don't speak in this talk here, but uh, usually the motivation. Uh, Motivation is a practical one because uh, uh, since uh, model logic, uh, description logic are uh, fragments of first, or, of first order logic, the possibility of having uh, witness, witnesses for a quantified formula gives the possibility to have an algorithm, uh, we have the possibility to finitarily build uh, uh, models without uh, hanging on infinite segments of uh, infinite segments of uh, values infinite uh, uh, sets uh, of elements that uh, give not the possibility to build a finite finite model on which uh, the the algorithm uh, algorithms uh, are based are based so before uh, explaining you the um, solution that have been Given to uh, this issue, I wanted to present kind of long presentation the uh, mm, uh, the subject of uh, first order fuzzy logic, which logic we are considering. How we uh, describe the logic in, in a syntactical way and in a semantical way. I, I, I am assuming in this case that uh, not only no not everybody uh, are working in first order logic or first order fuzzy logic. But so, it can be interesting to uh, at least to understand the notation in some way. Uh, for all. So the syntax. 
First of all, like in classical first-order logic, we have uh, a symmetry that in this case we are considering just a, a symmetry with constant symbols and uh, predicates. We are not considering a function because for the problem that we are facing are not uh, important. The uh, formulas can be built up from, uh, from predicates uh, uh, essentially. Um, and then uh, we will consider a logical, a logical language. It can be considered every logical language, but uh, we are considering a logical language uh, composed by uh, strong conjunction that we use, the, the symbols is usually, usually used for Lucasier, we are using for every uh, fancy logic. A strong disjunction, implication, a weak conjunction, uh, a bottom, two quantifiers, and uh, some def uh, definable uh, connective. Um, consider that in some logic, for example, uh, from basic logic, we will, I will explain what is uh, basic logic, also the weak conjunction is definable, but we are uh, co considering the framework for the, from the monoidal term logic where the conjunction is not, uh, is not definable. So, um, for the general framework, the only definable uh, connectives are this negation, uh, weak disjunction, and top. There are logic like Lukasiewicz in which we can really restrict to uh, conjunction and implication, uh, conjunction and implication and bottom and define all the other. But, for example, in Gerder, in product, uh, usually uh, the only definable one is this. And, above all, um, only Lukasiewicz, like in classical logic, the quantifiers are interdefinable. In all the other logic, uh, forget about interdefinability of uh, quantifiers. Even in Lukasiewicz, you don't even need the, the, the conjunction. Probably just need the implication. Yes, yeah, 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 it's true. It's like classical. Yeah, no, the implication and bottom uh, is minimal because uh, the, the conjunction is defined like in, in classical way. Uh, in Lukasiewicz, we only uh, have not the, the, the potence of the conjunction. <coughs> uh, so then, uh, building still the formula and the, and the language. Uh, terms and formulas, like in classical uh, first order logic, uh, we uh, have a set of individual variables and uh, uh, constants from which we build the, uh, the terms. Usually when there are functions, the, the terms are uh, built uh, individually also from the function, but we don't need them. I think for the problem that we are facing, it's much more simple presenting the, uh, the language in this way. And the formula are also intuitively defined in the usual way. Bottom and top uh, are formulas. In this case, we are not considering uh, truth constants. Sometimes they can be considered. The only truth constants are bottom and top. Then, if uh, T1, Tm are terms that, uh, that is either variable or constants, and P is a, a, a MRI predicate, then the, this is a, a, an atomic formula. If we have formula, the conjunction, integration, etc., of this formula is also uh, a formula. And if uh, phi D of x is a formula and x is a variable, then the quantification of uh, x and the quantification, the both quantification, are also a formula. In this way, we have built intuitively the, uh, uh, the, the set of formulas. But this is still just like the uh, classical uh, framework. The logic that we are considering, uh, don't worry, yeah, the, the, you don't need to, <laughs> it's not just a, 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 an example, because I would have said, okay, and tell us his uh, axioms. These are the axioms of the basic logic that we are considering. All the other are uh, axiomatic uh, extension of, uh, of this logic. The only thing that you have to uh, understand of this, of this set of actions is that until here are uh, propositional uh, actions. This set of actions is weaker than the classical one. Uh, probably we have more action because, because of this. There are, uh, all the actions are true in the, in the classical, in classical logic, in classical logic. And uh, a lot of them are, are quite recognizable, like uh, transitivity, 
like the, the fact that the conjunction is uh, in place each one of the conjuncts, but not the other way out. Um, <coughs> another thing, this two action, for example, both describe the uh, situation, but uh, it's outside the scope of uh, our talk. And then uh, Hayek, uh, at least. Uh, in order to define uh, an axiomatic version of um, uh, first order fuzzy logic, add this uh, five axiom that describe the uh, behavior of the quantification. Note that, um, for example, the first two really says that the um, universal quantification is an infimum and the existential quantification is a supremum. Um, I have not said uh, one thing. Mm, but usually, uh, everybody who works in fuzzy logic knows that the implication describes an order uh, between the formula, an order between the uh, values of the, uh, or, or, of the formula. So this is the uh, axiomatic, uh, the axiomatic of the um, basic logic that we are considering. Axiomatic extension of uh, MTL are strict MTL, uh, adding the action strictness, but look. Uh, this is the kind of classical action, but with respect to the um, weak uh, conjunction, not, uh, not, not, not the, the strong. The strong conjunction um, always, uh, always uh, verify the, this action. Involution for uh, IMT, involutive uh, uh, MTL. Uh, MTL stands for monoidal terminology. It has been Defined in year 2000 by Esteva Bodo and Hayek, if I remember um, wrong. After, two years after that, well, not two years, but after that, the framework of mathematical fuzzy logic was uh, established. Then, uh, product uh, monoidal terminal logic that adds simplification and is the typical action of uh, product logic. And then, uh, BL, that is, that is BL, it's, the name is basic logic because until 2000, it was considered the, the basic the basic logic uh, among all the, the the fuzzy logic. The basic logic because all the uh, famous fuzzy logic are axiomatic extension of uh, BL. Uh, BL, the action that uh, is added in BL is kind of definition of the uh, weak uh, conjunction. From here, the conjunction is uh, definable in, in this way. From this, uh, apart uh, SDL, the, in some way, famous uh, fuzzy logic, the first one that were defined uh, historically, are uh, product logic defined in 95, I think, and the logic defined in the 60s by Dammet, and from a uh, paper of uh, Gedem who was proving that the intuitionistic logic has no finite, uh, finite model. And uh, Lukasiewicz logic already defined in the 2030 by, uh, by, by, by Lukasiewicz. The characteristic, the main, main, main uh, feature of uh, this uh, logic are, for example, that uh, the logic maintains the impotence of, uh, of the strong conjunction. Lukasiewicz is involutive. This means that, as we have said, the double negation is equal to the uh, same formula. And, um, <coughs> and, uh, and product logic uh, obeys simplification. Uh, both product and get the, the negation, the differences, these are, called, are considered kind of strict logic because the negation is kind of uh, strict negation is what is called a given negation, just that just crispifies all the formula. Every negative formula in the product and, uh, and get is uh, as value either zero or one. While in Lukasiewicz, it can have uh, every kind of value, it's just one minus uh, the value of, of the formula. This is the uh, landscape of the logic that we are treating. Um, what to say? The result that we will explain, uh, the first result by Hayek, encompass in some way 
<coughs> all the uh, logic, but is in some way that we will explain just restricted to Lukasiewicz. And the second, the, the, the one on with uh, the comp completeness with, uh, with respect to witness and models. That is, uh, Hayek defines a condition to be a logic, uh, to have an axiomatic extension that, uh, of every logic that is complete with respect to witness and models from MTL, but then shows that just uh, Lukasiewicz is uh, identical to, uh, the, to its axiom, to this. A witness that axiomatic extension. And then the quasi witness completeness that we will explain. That instead is limited to uh, a group of street logic, that is the axiomatic extension of uh, uh, SMTN. Uh, with a result that, similar to Lukasiewicz, is restricted to uh, product logic. Uh, no, uh, nowadays, we have no result about, uh, about uh, witnessing or quasi witnessing uh, about Gedel. Uh, it seems that uh, witness uh, Gedel is not complete with respect to witness and quasi witness models. The, the logic, uh, the direction are um, defined in the usual way. The rules of inference are most exponents uh, in generalization, and the direction are usually a set of formula such that. Which one is uh, from a, <coughs> from a theory or set of formula, or from the axiom, and the last one, and, and is or is uh, the use is inferred from previous formulas by means of the of the rules, and the last one is just a formula that is uh, in the, that is the use from from a set. Uh, the logic, as usual, is defined uh, as a set of pairs gamma phi, such that phi is the uh, by gamma. Uh, this is for problem in some way. Uh, some definition that is kind of informal, but uh, we will use, is uh, that of core fuzzy logic. First of all, we consider a local deduction the the theorem. I, I think that um, most of you uh, know the deduction the theorem in classical logic. In most of the logic, but Gedel, uh, where the the, Luchon, the classical deduction theorem is true, what is true is uh, local deduction theorem. And that is from P and P, we can deduce uh, C if and only if there is a finite term from which uh, such that from T we can deduce the conjunction, the end conjunction of P implies uh, C. The, the, this local deduction theorem and the inference and the substitution that is. Uh, just basic requirement for every logic. Uh, we define, well, we define, uh, simple and high, define core fuzzy logic as uh, logic that is finitely uh, enjoys uh, local deduction theorem uh, uh, invariance and uh, substitution, and this uh, uh, an extension of uh, the model that in the logic. And we, 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 we understand we have accordingly defined the strict core fuzzy logic as the same logic, but that expands uh, strict monoidal tenor logic. These are, these are uh, kind of basic requirement to prove the uh, relation, to, yeah, to have in some way, um, to be in some way able to be theories and models. The semantics, that is, uh, well, apart the framework, apart the framework of four and four core fuzzy logic, all the, all what we have, and the axiomatic, all what we have defined like term, formulas, and so on, is totally equal to classical logic. What uh, change is the when we introduce the semantic? That is not no more the the uh, one. Within the framework of mathematical uh, fuzzy logic, have uh, been considered two kinds of semantics. <clears throat> the general semantics and the standard semantics. The general semantics means uh, evaluating formulas uh, by, by means of uh, um, um, assignation and evaluation that we will see will be defined uh, on all the uh, algebras in an equation uh, class of algebra. We will uh, see which are the equational classes that we are considering. But the equational classes in, 
we will see that coincide with the, all the axiomatic extension that we have uh, seen. And the standard, uh, the standard semantics that this that has been considered because historically mm, the first doubt has been on the semantics facet on one particular algebra that was uh, with, on the domain 0, 1. In the propositional case, this two uh, general semantic and standard semantic coincide. In the first order case, they do not coincide anymore because uh, the uh, general semantic has an axiomatic, all the axiomatic system that we have seen are referred to the general semantics. But the standard semantic related to, for example, uh, the standard Lukasiewicz uh, algebra or the standard Brut algebra have not an axiomatic system. Uh, this is proved by the fact that they have a semantics, but they are undecidable. So something between, since a logic is decidable, uh, if it has an axiomatic and, uh, and the semantics, since it, it, it is not uh, decidable, something should uh, miss between a semantics and a, a axiomatic system. Since we have the semantics, we cannot have an axiomatic system. So standard uh, first order, uh, first order uh, standard logic are not uh, axiomatiz axiomatizable. Um, the problem of witness model has been uh, in general uh, addressed and managed uh, with respect to general semantics, but there is some result that has been obtained with respect to uh, standard semantics in some way, but just uh, short uh, results. So, <coughs> which are the algebra that we are considering? Um, <coughs> We consider, first of all, uh, all the algebra are bounded, uh, commutative in, in integral residuated lattice. That is, a, residuate, a bound, bound, bounded residuated lattice, a part that is a bounded lattice, a part that is a commutative uh, uh, monoid, and a, a, an operation <coughs> defined according to the uh, monoid that respects the uh, residuation condition. <coughs> Uh, according to this uh, resolution, in, uh, in all the class of algebra that we are considering, uh, it can be it is possible to uh, define an operation that is called the, the uh, residuum, that is uh, the maximum of all these values, that is just respecting the uh, resolution condition. Uh, look that. Um, classical implication respect the reservation condition with respect to the uh, classical conjunction. Uh, so it is just uh, the classical um, what to say, um, material implication is just a particular case of uh, uh, residual implication. Boolean algebra is just a, a particular case of uh, bounded commutative uh, residual uh, lattice. But between uh, Boolean algebra and bounded uh, and residual lattice, we have uh, other classes of algebra. As we, you will see, each class of algebra is an equational class because it's defined by means of a set of equations. And it coincides with the uh, logic algebraized, uh, axiomatized uh, before in the axiomatic systems. It coincides in the sense, in the strong sense of property codes, in the sense that they, um, usually they, uh, most of the times, the equation that defines the class of algebra, the variety, is a translation of the action, or the action is a translation of the equation that, uh, uh, that uh, axiomatized the. Uh, that defines the class of algebra. So we have that uh, MTL algebra is just a bounded uh, residual lattice that respects pre prelinearity. Prelinearity is related to the fact that uh, the important uh, models are linear, are linear algebra, but does not mean that every model is a linear algebra. Uh, <coughs> Then, uh, a, a IMTL algebra is just a definition of the involutive negation. The negation usually also in logic is defined as a formula implies uh, bottom, also in classical logic. Uh, 
As MTL algebra <coughs> is also a kind of uh, strictness, a PMTL algebra is a kind of a simplification in algebraic uh, version. A PL algebra has the visibility that is the definition of the uh, influence. <coughs> and then the last one, uh, product algebra, the algebra, and, uh, and many valued uh, MV algebras. As we see uh, Gedel algebra, the characteristic of Gedel algebra <coughs> is uh, um, impotence. Uh, that is uh, um, characteristic that no other fatty logic uh, has. Mind that the um, Gedel algebra can be defined also from intuition, intuitionistic, intuitionistic logic by adding the uh, premiality and we obtain uh, the, the algebra uh, just a minute in the schema of the algebra I forgot to uh, note that we have also intuitionistic logic and classical logic in the landscape intuitionistic logic is um, we obtain gathering by adding pre preliminarity and uh, Classical logic is obtained from each one just adding the scooter middle law that is quite powerful in, in, this, um, in this context. So, uh, these are uh, questions of class, classes of algebra, of which the standard algebra for the standard algebra that usually have been considered, the, the one we domain, the real unit interval, are an algebra in this class, the product algebra, an algebra in this class, and an algebra usually. As a, a one in this class, and then also in uh, also BL because the algebra BBL algebra um, can be defined as uh, a one. Standard algebra, as I said, uh, particular attention has been uh, paid to this to this particular algebra that are instance of the last classes that uh, we have seen. <coughs> <coughs> the domain is uh, zero one, and the, uh, this is an account of the operation that are performed in, in zero one in order to have uh, a Lukasiewicz standard algebra, proof standard algebra, and get a standard algebra. Not that for get it is just the minimum of uh, two values, and for product is the a product between real uh, real numbers. Uh, for Lukasiewicz, it's uh, truncated uh, sum. It's a bit more complicated, but Lukasiewicz is the one that is continuous uh, for every um, um, for every connective. Uh, the other two are not uh, usually not continuous in the uh, negation. This is a definition of the negation. We we use in some way, in some counterexample, the. Uh, the characteristic of the uh, Gedel and product implication, not that uh, Gedel implication is one if the antecedent is uh, less or equal than the consequent, or otherwise is the, uh, is, the, is the value of the consequent. And the um, product as well is um, one if the antecedent is uh, less or equal than the, uh, the consequent, or otherwise is this uh, relation. Note that, as, we, as I said uh, at the beginning, the implication has value one always when the antecedent is uh, less or equal than the consequent. This means that the implication defines kind of order between the values of the algebra, usually in a standard algebra. And then the uh, definition of the Gedel, what is called Gedel negation, is the same for product uh, and Gedel. Uh, is the same more or less in the standard algebra that are a strict algebra. Strictness is a characteristic related to the Gedel negation. That is, Gedel negation is always uh, is one if what is negated is zero, otherwise if it is whatever positive value or one is uh, zero. So it's kind of specification of the formula. Whatever value a negative formula is Zero or one, and this will be used. The Lukasiewicz negation is a classical, the more intuitive uh, thing that we can have in fuzzy uh, logic. So <coughs> these were the algebra on which uh, we are uh, working. But 
first order model are not just these are usually the semantics of proposition logic. First order logic is a bit more complex. The models are, are built from uh, structures. We have seen at the beginning a uh, first order structure where, where the domain was just the domain was just a set of natural numbers. All the models, all the structures that we will see are based on uh, domain or natural numbers. And then an interpretation of the, um, the predicates and of the uh, constants. And the interpretation of the predicate, the, the interpretation of the constants is a, a crisp function that gives an element of the domain. But the one of the predicates is uh, a, a fuzzy, what is called a fuzzy relation. That is a function from <coughs> an M tuple in the case of uh, uh, an MRI relation to a value in the in the algebra in the algebra of two values. Uh, that is what is called giving a value to uh, formula for atomic formulas. And a segment is a mapping of the uh, set of variables to uh, to objects in the domain. Uh, we will not use this notation, but usually it's used in uh, first order logic. An uh, evaluation. Uh, <coughs> can be defined exactly from its uh, assignment uh, of objects to uh, variables. <coughs> Models. From an assignment, uh, we can uh, define uh, intuitively uh, a model. For um, a model is a, also <coughs> is a function from the set of formulas, the set of formulas we have seen that is built intuitively. So this uh, model we can uh, uh, define intuitively from the set of formula to uh, the algebra of the value. That is assigning a to value to a formula. This is made intuitively. A value of uh, an atomic formula is the uh, value that is given from that is uh, from the interpretation of uh, look at the interpretation of as we have seen, interpretation of a, a predicate is a, fun is a function from a set, a set of elements from the domain, from a sequence of elements from the domain to uh, uh, the, the algebra of the value. So, the value of an atomic formula is exactly this. We give an assignation to the terms, usually only to variable for our case. And we calculate according to the interpretation of the predicate the value that is, this will be a true value, a value in the algebra. From this, from atomic formulas and from formulas in general, we can define the uh, value of a complex formula in the sense of uh, a propositional collective like conjunction, integration, and so on, by usually a binary, which is a more general definition. And then the definition of a value of a model, uh, well, of a value of uh, quantified formulas. That is, the value of a quantified formulas, <coughs> giving the param parameterization by means of the assignation of all the other variables, is the infimum that the value, this interpretation of the formula uh, reach um, is instantiating the display these, these variables among all the uh, elements of the domain. There is always there is a different value we take the infinite. The same for uh, existential quantified formulas. We range uh, leaving the, these parameters fixed, we range uh, the, the value of these variables among all the elements of the domain take all the values and take the supremum of uh, these formulas. This, uh, as we have said, this is a formal definition of what we were saying at the beginning, taking the supremum and the infimum of, uh, of formulas, of instantiation of formulas um, <coughs> uh, among the uh, domain uh, elements. So, uh, this logic can be uh, defined also uh, semantically. Mm, and this is important, for example, for standard algebra, not so much for uh, general, uh, for, 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 the <coughs> uh, for, for logic uh, general semantics. 
uh, we say that a formula is uh, satisfiable if there is an algebra, a structure, and uh, a segment such that gives value 1 to the formula. Is positively satisfiable if there is an algebra, a structure, an assignation such that the formula has a value that is more than zero. Remember that we have not just one that is more than zero. Uh, is a tato uh, the tautology if for every uh, algebra, every structure, and every assignment the value is always one. And this is a logical consequence if uh, for every model that gives value one to uh, all, the, um, all the formulas in the premise, uh, on this model, give value one also to the, uh, to the consequence. This notion for all the logic defined uh, in um, uh, by means of general semantics has been proved to be uh, complete with respect to the or the axiomatic system has been proved to be complete with respect to uh, the notion of uh, logical consequence uh, defined in a, a semantic way. <coughs> Uh, so it refers in general to uh, general semantics. For um, for the same for, for the, the same definition of this, with respect to the standard semantics, we just drop the if there exists an algebra because the algebra is just one. If there exists a structure uh, and then as a, and then a segment such that uh, the formula is value 1, sometimes uh, positive value, always value 1, uh, etc. Et so, to obtain the corresponding definition, just drop uh, the algebra. <coughs> With general semantics, axiomatic system and logic defined uh, in a um, semantical way are uh, complete in the sense that with the corresponding the logic with, uh, with respect to the corresponding class of uh, to the corresponding vari uh, variety uh, we have that a formula is a cons semantical consequence of a set of formula well in zero if it is uh, derivable from the if the same formula can be derivable in uh, Hilbert sense in mm -hmm. Hilbert style from the set of uh, formulas Standard uh, logic defined by means of standard semantic in the case of first order logic has no corresponding axiomatic system. In the case of uh, propositional logic, they coincide. Just, uh, just, uh. <coughs> so, let's go to the, <laughs> the topic of the talk. Witness set model. What is a witness set model? <coughs> we say that a universally, well, for any center in the uh, algebra, we say that a universally quantified formula is witnessed in M if for, for every assignment, <coughs> assignment to the, para, to the other parameter, I would, it's much more simple to define this without parameter, it, it, it is uh, definable without parameter, but this is a more general uh, definition. If uh, leaving fixed the parameter, there is an element of the domain such that the value instantiated in this element is equal to the, uh, uh, to, to the, to the universal quantification. And the same for, uh, for uh, an existentially quantified formula. If uh, leaving fixed the parameters, there is an element of the domain such that instantiating the formula with this element, the value is the same uh, as the quantified formula. That is, this element will be a witness of the uh, quantified formula. <coughs> a, um, <coughs> a model is uh, a structure is witnessed if uh, I, I would say a model because um, that is for a, a structure. <coughs> well, it's a model because we, we don't we don't have the we don't consider the uh, assignments. The model is uh, witnessed uh, if all quantified formulas are witnessed uh, in, uh, in, in, in the model. Uh, as we have seen, as we have seen, this may not be the case when the set of uh, when the set of uh, truth value is infinite, because there can be an infinite sequence of elements, each one with different value, and each one with different value from the uh, universally or uh, existentially quantified formula, such that 
since the universal quantification, existential quantification has been defined by means of the supremum and, and the infimum, we can have a situation like the example that we've seen at the beginning, in which every instance, the, the value of the formula, instanciated in every instance, is different from the uh, quantified formula. That is a thing that is not possible, for example, in classical logic, or when the uh, set of uh, the algebra of truth value is finite, because we can find it, uh, or a finite structure, for example. In a finite structure, we cannot have an infinite set of, uh, an infinite sequence of value that, uh, with a supremum that is different. Or if the set of, uh, if it is a finite Lukasiewicz algebra that exists, or a finite field algebra, we cannot have a infinite sequence of elements, each one with different values such that the, the, the supremum is different from, uh, from all them. <coughs> so we need an uh, infinite set of uh, truth value. Which has been the, um, the idea is uh, seeing when, uh, in which, under which condition, we can say that a logic, an axiomatic system, uh, among the one that we have defined before, always has witnessed models, always has this, uh, this, this feature that the models that the universal existential quantification correspond, uh, coincide with, uh, the, with some uh, instantiation. The solution of uh, Ayek and Sintel in uh, 2006 <coughs> is considering the, an axiomatic extension of uh, a core fancy logic, as we have seen, that is an extension of an uh, MPL. It has local deduction theory, uh, invariance and substitution, is finitary. Uh, there was another thing. That is, uh, um, the axiomatic extension by means of these two axioms. Uh, this two axiom exactly says this, that there exists, exists in some sense, uh, this is not the classical sense that really exists, that the supremum is a time. <coughs> in some way, the supremum is below, because the, remember that the, uh, the implication is an order between the values of the formulas, the supremum is be below some instance. Since the supremum is always above the instance, this one of the um, axiom of the first order uh, of the axiom that the scale first order uh, logic and the behavior of the quantification was this formula, but in the other way. That says that always the instantiation, in every instanti instantiation, instantiation is uh, smaller, the value of the instantiation is smaller than the supremum. Now, with this action, we say that there exists one for which they coincide, because we are giving also the supremum is below some instance. And the same for the, uh, for the infimum. The infimum is above some instance. Um, intuitively, this action are saying. Uh, what they prove is that uh, any model <coughs> um, and any set of, uh, for, for any uh, model, and any, uh, any set of uh, formulas, <coughs> If the model satisfies uh, the formula, then this model can be elementarily embedded in a witness set model, in a witness set model of gamma. Look that there are contra contra example I've not reported this that says that even though a structure, a model, satisfies this action, does not mean that it's witness set. Because it cannot be witness. But what they prove is that exist a witness set, a model in which this structure can be elementarily embedded. That is, um, <coughs> there is a structure that expands this, uh, this structure, that is a uh, witness set, and such that they satisfy the same set of formula. This is an uh, uh, elementary embedding in the uh, first order logic. And so forth, we can say that the extension by means of this action of every core fancy logic is complete with respect to witness uh, models. Because it, it, always when we have uh, satisfiable formulas, we know that they are satisfiable in witness models. So 
we can restrict our attention on witnessed models. That, for practical, under a practical point of view, is much uh, uh, sometimes well. Hayek proves uh, the scalability of uh, modern logic based on uh, infinite Lucasian because of um, completeness with respect to witness models. Why Lukasiewicz? Because Lukasiewicz defined it by means of general semantics is complete with respect to witnessed models. Uh, why? Already in the book, celebrated uh, book uh, Metamathematics of, of Fancy Logic, uh, Hayek already proved that these two axioms are theorem, are deducible in a syntactical way from the axiomatic system of uh, Lukasiewicz. This means that <coughs> Lukasiewicz, general, uh, general semantics, and his axiomatic extension by means of this witness set axiom coincide, is not an axiomatic extension that is uh, different from, from the same Lukasiewicz logic. As for uh, general Lukasiewicz logic, is complete with respect to uh, uh, I, I'm sorry for the people that are from fancy logic that usually first order logic is defined by means of some symbol to differentiate from propositional Lucasian logic, but we are just considering first order logic, so we have not the need to, for simplicity, I'm using this notation. <coughs> the standard of the logic of uh, Lukasiewicz uh, as similar, clearly, since it has no axiomatic system, we cannot define uh, the axiomatic extension of standard Lugasiewicz logic by means of these axioms. So the treatment should be uh, different. They prove two results in this sense. One <coughs> is that um, uh, I prove that each standard model, uh, standard model clearly is a model on where uh, whatever structure, uh, structure, but this time not on every Lukasiewicz algebra, but just in the standard one. We are considering uh, um, structure of this type. M, where M is whatever structure, but then here, as uh, algebra, we have just the standard algebra, that is the one that we have described at the end of the all this set of uh, <coughs> so they prove that each uh, standard model can be uh, can be expanded uh, is elementarily embedded in a witness uh, standard model of <coughs> uh, in a witness standard model. So satisfiability of formula can be restricted to um, uh, to witness models, and then. <coughs> He proved also in the metamathematics of fuzzy logic that uh, standard uh, for standard logic as tautologies uh, by means of uh, standard algebras <coughs> uh, are um, uh, a formula is a standard tautology if it is a tautology in every uh, finite Lukasiewicz chain. A finite Lukasiewicz chain is uh, an algebra that has the same operation as Lukasiewicz, but where the uh, domain is uh, 1 above n, uh, 2 above n, the canonical one at least, but R is more to all, R only is more to uh, this uh, n minus 1 above n, n above n. So uh, the tautologies on this algebra, uh, formula is a tautology on this algebra, is a, if it is a tautology by, with respect to this algebra, but for every, for every n. So the tautologies of, uh, the, the standard tautology are the intersection of all the uh, tautology with respect to finite, uh, finite algebras. So since uh, models, the finite only finite algebras are necessarily weakness, <laughs> With a finite set of truth value, we cannot have an infinite sequence of uh, values. So there are uh, <coughs> um, a witness set. If a formula is a standard tautology, we can, this means that we can find a finite Lukasiewicz chain 
in which this formula is a tautology. So we can find a witness set models because a model of uh, witness set models because models of uh, um, finite progressive ch chains are uh, necessarily uh, set. So uh, under the point of view of satisfying formula and tautologies, also Lukasiewicz standard logic is uh, is complete with respect to uh, with trusted models. What happens with the other um, famous uh, logic, logics? Gadel and product logic are not complete with respect to uh, with trusted models, uh, in the sense that uh, the axiomatic extension of Gadel and product logic by means of these actions, uh, with trusted, say, with trusted action, are not equal to, Gadel, uh, to the same Gadel and uh, product logic. To see this, uh, consider Consider this formula. <coughs> um, this is usually a contradiction in classical logic because uh, the universal quantification can be described by means of this, and this is a negation of the universal quantification. But uh, in uh, fuzzy logic, it can clearly it has not value one, but no, it has uh, sometimes value one. But uh, it's not indeed a, a, a contradiction. Indeed, it has a model uh, in Gedel uh, and product logic. As a model, consider as usual a structure of which the uh, well, a model of which the structure is the set of natural numbers. No? And the, the algebra is uh, Gedel or uh, product infinite algebra, not necessarily the standard one. The, the there are also infinite. Uh, not standard uh, algebras, and consider the interpretation of the uh, predicates on every uh, element of the domain, uh, giving the value to the atomic formula as uh, 1 above uh, n plus 1. So what we have is that, uh, what to say, p, uh, p on 1 will be 1 half or two one third. So we have an infinite sequence of one half, one third, one fourth, etc. etc. No? <coughs> so the infimum, the value of this part of formulas, the infimum will be zero. These formulas will be zero because as we have seen, we are considering the Gedel negation, that is a crispification. Since the value of all these atomic formulas is always positive, is always different from zero. The negation of this, according to the negation, is always zero. So the supremum is zero uh, uh, again. Since in these formulas, this, uh, th these two formulas are negated, both have value one. So this is a model of, of, of this formula. But uh, we have seen that it's not uh, witnessed models because, uh, witnessed model because uh, for example, for the uh, universally quantified formula, each instantiation of the uh, predicate is positive, but the infimum is zero. But for no instantiation, the value is zero. It's always positive, no? So it's a model that is not a witnessed uh, model on, on one side. Uh, let's suppose, towards a contradiction, that this formula has a witnessed model in Gedel or Lukasiewicz. Uh, if it has a witnessed model, it means that well, there, there exists a witnessed model such that the value of this formula is uh, one. It's not the previous model, it's another witnessed one. Since the model is witnessed, there is an instance, <coughs> a value, uh, well, an instance of, of the domain such that the value to, just to be this one, this means that both conjuncts has value one. So the universal quantification without the negation should have value zero. So the infimum is still zero. Since it is witnessed, there is an instance that has value zero as well. No? Since there is an instance that has, uh, <coughs> that has value zero, the negation of this instance is one. From zero. So the supremum of all the negation has value 1, and the negation of uh, the, all these supremums, uh, of the, all this, uh, the negation of this supremum should have uh, value 0. So we have reached a contradiction 
the, this phone will tell, cannot have uh, witness uh, moments. <coughs> so get it and and product I uh, have not uh, witnessed uh, uh, models. But what happens? Uh, there can be defined other kind of models that are kind of weakening of the witnessed models. A quasi witnessed model <coughs> is a model for which the uh, existential um, quantification is treated if the condition is the same as for witnessed models. For the universal quantification, it happens that Either there is a witness, so, so the infimum uh, coincides with uh, some instance, or the value of the infimum is uh, zero. These are these two uh, conditions. Uh, in 2007, a uh, paper by Laskowski and Marek Poor from the University of Baltimore, I think, wrote that product logic with general semantics is complete with respect to uh, quasi witnessed model. In this paper they call them closed models, but then we have thought that it was a bit strange because closed is a term that is used for a lot of things in just the closed form. So we change it to quasi witnessed models. The uh, proof is similar to Hayek's, but does not describe um, it just resisted to quote logic not to uh, wider class, classes of logic. Uh, later on, in, uh, the result is before 2011, but we published it in 2011. We uh, made a proof to the Steva similar to the one uh, of Hayek, but this time we just have two strict core, uh, strict core fancy logic. This, there is a uh, slide. So we have proved that, uh, we have considered um, strict core fancy logic that we have seen in, uh, on the extension of a uh, strict moral alternative logic and consider this two actions. This is the same as, uh, as the existence uh, one as before. And the other is the <coughs> universal one, but implicated by the double negation of the, uh, of, 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 of the universal quantification. And we have proved that. Uh, for any model, and, and in theory, uh, any set of formula, a set of formula is satisfiable. In this model, if and only if the model can be elementary embedded in a quasi witness set model of the, of, of the theory. <coughs> so, the axiomatic extension by means of this uh, axiom is uh, complete with respect to quasi witness set model because we can always. Uh, for satisfying our formula, we can always restrict our attention to uh, quasi witnessed model. That even though they are not um, manageable like uh, witnessed model, it is it's a quite fine restriction in some way, even though there is management of infinite things still. <coughs> we have proved also that um, general proof logic, with this, the tautologies. Uh, Product logic in general semantics, <coughs> uh, this axiom are uh, tautology of uh, product logic in general semantics. Differently from high proof, we prove it in a, a semantic way. We, we, uh, we were not able to find a derivation, a syntactical derivation of uh, these formulas. But indeed, the product coincides with the it's this axiomatic uh, extension. And this is another way to prove the uh, result by uh, Laskowski uh, and Marek uh, But in some way it's more general because we prove something before for all uh, strict moral uh, logic. For product standard semantics, <coughs> we have proved this result that is similar uh, to the one for the tautologies uh, in uh, Lukasiewicz. That is that um, <coughs> standard uh, ta tautology, that is tautology in the, with respect to the uh, standard uh, product algebra, are uh, the same as the tautology with respect to the one generated uh, product chain. The one generated product chain, um, we could not make the same thing with respect to finite Product chain because there not exist finite product chain. Uh, 
uh, it's uh, mm, it's simple. Even without uh, we have an element that is um, between zero and one. Just uh, um, what to say? Even without we have one. A prompt algebra with a, a finite set of elements, just the prompt between uh, these elements produce an infinite, an infinite set of elements, just even with one. Indeed, the uh, one generated algebra is just an algebra generated by uh, an element um, multiplied by it for all. The end. So is uh, a, a, in some way it's a discrete algebra because now the uh, product between real number is substituted by some between the the, the exponent uh, and this gives the result. Uh, for example, uh, a two multiplied by a four equals a two plus <coughs> so we have, we substitute the multiplication the, the, the product by with the, with the and this is this is a product algebra because uh, it, mm, on the equation of uh, that describe product, product algebra uh, respect this and uh, it is uh, mm, say discrete since it is discrete um, there are no it is discrete. And the only uh, infinite, the chain is the chain that descends to uh, minus infinite. That is the zero of the product of this uh, product algebra. So indeed, what uh, we are describing is a quasi witnessed model because the only case in which the formulas are not witnessed is when the infinite sequence. Uh, the same to zero. So, uh, uh, why the uh, existence of the supremum, the supremum always is attained to some, uh, to some, is, uh, is uh, discrete above and uh, below is not discrete, but the only case is the, just the uh, uh, The result uh, applies to uh, uh, tautologies and positive satis posit positively satisfiable formulas that are the negation of uh, if a formula is, has not always value, value 1, it has some positive uh, value or uh, 0. So, uh, but the result is not, uh, we could not put the result to one satisfiable uh, formulas. <coughs> Um, so in the, in the same paper we proved that uh, no other uh, no no, no other uh, extension of BL at least of BL uh, is uh, complete with respect to basic witness support. To show this, uh, suppose that <coughs> there is a standard algebra that is not so uh, not so much. Uh, to Lukasiewicz, or Lukasiewicz clearly is completely with respect to basic interest model because it's completely with respect to interest models. Uh, then there is uh, an element that is idempotent. Remember, Gedel has idempotent element, and every MPL has also uh, idempotent uh, 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 some idempotent uh, element. <coughs> so, uh, uh, an element that is idempotent means that. Uh, the multiplication of well, the conjunction of the element with itself is, is equal to itself, like in classical logic. This happens only in the uh, form of your elements, or if there is some important element. But for example, because uh, some are distinguished because they have no important element that are the only important element are zero and one. So all the other uh, elements are uh, not idempotent element. If there is an important element, it is not Lukasiewicz, neither Lukasiewicz, nor product. Uh, so uh, take, a take a model of uh, this logic and take 
a strict increasing uh, sequence of elements such that the supremum is the this idempotent uh, element. <coughs> Uh, give the interpretation of, uh, of the formula that we want to uh, see if this with uh, relates of, of all the uh, elements of the domain by this uh, element, these values that are in the strictly increasing chain was supremum is, is the important element so the interpretation of the uh, the interpretation of the witness action for the supremum is uh, the supreme of uh, the, the supreme of this the interpretation of this is a, is a supreme, <coughs> and this is in the scope of the uh, uh, external. The supremum of all this element is the idempotent element, since it is a, a um, get a, uh, yeah since it is an idempotent element because this works also also well. The implication with respect every single implication has the value of the consequence but the supremum of the consequence is the important element and the important element is different than one so this is not a tautology of other logics that are not Lukasiewicz uh, or Claude <coughs> so no, logic is, uh, is identical to, its, to the axiomatic extension by means of this uh, action and that's all